Hi, Aunt Lindy. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another haul video. <clears throat> this is from Old Mom's Old Stuff. I would love it if you'd subscribe and click the like button. So in this haul, I have things from estate sales and from antique shops, which I'm going to more antique shops trying to find sales because I, it seems like I'm having a harder time finding things at the thrift stores. So I think we will we'll kind of go from the left to the right and we'll start over here with this big glass candle holder. Reminds me kind of of a leopard print. It's It's got some weight to it. Beautiful. I don't know who made it. I think it might be pressed. I don't see a pontal. And I think it's modern. I don't think it's old. But it's in good condition. And it's so nice, so handsome looking. And the price fell off. Let's see here. I think I paid $8 for that one. Now this one I fell in love with and I wish they would have had two. It's a it's a glass candle holder and I paid $12.50 for this. I think well I it had to be pressed, but it's beautiful. It's a little bit translucent and I don't know when this was made. You guys can tell me. Um, but I thought it was just beautiful. This this glass candle holder. Look at the detail. I think so. I think that would look really nice on someone's mantle. That was that came from an estate sale. These next two Hager vases, a very pale lavender, very classic shape. I paid $8 for the two of them. There's a Hager tag. So if it's got a tag like that, I'm, well, it's more modern, right? Because it's got the barcode on the bottom. But again, like so many of Hager's thing, it has such a nice touch to it. Such a, oh, I don't know, almost velvety touch to it. The other one has the the label on top, the Hager label on top, made in the USA, Royal Hager. These, no chips or cracks. I think that was a pretty good price for that. These, I have a lot of brass stuff. I've, I've sold some smaller brass things, but these, I paid 90 cents a piece, and they're shells. Ninety cents for that one, and then oops, there's a tag for that one. Ninety cents for this because I got them for ninety cents because one of the advantages, like I said, of being a senior citizen is getting the senior citizen price. This came from the thrift store from Goodwill, so I got twenty-five percent off of those. Good price. This one, I know, I said from estate sales, and excuse me, and antique shops, but I'll show you this this too. So this is the glass dish, the kind of peach colored glass dish, in the chrome holder with the handle. You can see the detail on the chrome holder and the detail on the handle. Now this is very tight fitting, which makes me wonder, did this really come with this? I paid $3.75 for it and it's a pinch to get it in here. It's really, really hard. I, I, was, I was afraid I was gonna crack it or chip it. Now it does have, it has some little flea bite chips 
and then it has oh over here it has has a I don't know where maybe it was cracked or chipped and and this has been kind of buffed out here um, so it's got that it's pretty and I don't remember if this glows in the dark or not or glows under the black light or not I don't I don't think it does I'm, I'm not sure about that and this little sugar jar I'm probably gonna keep it I paid 225 for it and this was at an estate sale I think I'm I love this color I mean it is beautiful it is clean it's sharp but I think I'm probably gonna hold on to this and see if maybe sometime in my adventures I will find the creamer that goes with it I, I'm gonna hold off and, and and wait and see now this who the translucent glaze again made in Japan I did pay six dollars for this but it has there's there's some wear of the glaze but it has the spoon with it because a lot of times the spoon isn't with these kind of dishes and then it has the little saucer that it sits on this I guess it's a jam jar and you can see where the paint is worn under it so hopefully that means it was used and somebody really appreciated appreciated this I'm sorry guys I know I'm not doing a very good job holding the camera here okay the next thing now I did pay $22 for this but it is a well I better take the stopper off of it so it's a perfume bottle look at that perfection perfection and it is, I want to show you the label, Murano, still has the label on it. See the bottom there? I don't find a signature or anything on it, just the label, but that is beautiful. It's heavy. So we'll see how that one does. And then next is this little girl, how cute! Again, it's not a high dollar. I paid about, well, it was $3.99 before my 25% discount. Um, so, I say $3. But she was so beautiful. And this is uh, like uh, ceramic. It's not plastic. I just thought she was so cute. Look at those shoes. And she stands up by herself. I just thought she was as adorable as could be. All right, so this little, I think it might be, I, I'm not sure what this is made of. I paid $2.50 for it. This was at an estate sale on their 50% off day. But look at that. Look at the detail. See how the color just fades from the green to the silver? There is there is a, a mark on there. Can you see that? I can't really see it right now, but... I just thought it was so pretty for the price. I got it. And then these, to me, very, very classic mid-century salt and pepper shakers, which I paid $2 for the pair. Classic mid-century color design. Now, then when I, after I, when I was washing them, look, I saw that chip. But anyway, I think somebody that's really likes appreciates the mid-century, I think they'll still like it. It'll still look it'll look nice on somebody's table or shelf. All right, now this is an Avon thing. I got this at a an antique store. First Mates shampoo, Avon. I don't know what year it is. It doesn't say anything on it any place. I paid three dollars for it, but the box is intact and it's still full. It's still full of the shampoo. Avon, but look at him, look at the back. So anyway, again, I thought that would look, somebody would like having that in their bathroom. Okay, 
So here we will, this little, see the weaving on that? See the detail? Made in Spain. Ceramic dish, trinket dish. I paid $2.50 for it. Very, I, I just really dig the detail. Because it has so much detail, even though it's white or off-white, that detail gives it the interest, I think, that we look for in things we want to have around. Okay. This next thing, I also got this at an antique store, and it is signed. Can you see that? See the signature there? Um, I believe this is a Sweden piece. I paid $2.50 for it. It's got the etched piece bird, piece dove on the little sprig of in his beak. Again, quite heavy little vase. Excellent condition. Let's come up. Come, let's, well, okay, I guess we'll go over here. Now this, I think this is a hobbyist piece because it's from Atlantic Mold. Paid five dollars. Oh, I paid five dollars for this. But look at that. No chips, no cracks. Is that mid-century? Now that is going to be, that's going to have someone say, wow, look at that. Where'd you get it? Did you make that? Did you buy that? Look at it. No chips, no cracks. I, I, I wish I had room for all of this stuff myself. I don't. But I just really dig the mid-century stuff. Okay. Now these came from an antique shop as well. Now look at this. Look at that. Is that too dark for you to see? All of these little flowers, no, they're all intact. All intact. Look at that gold, gold edge. I paid $3 for this. It's made in, let me hold it for you here. Fine China, can you see that? Kelvin China, 1957. Look at that. Look at that. I just think, a little powder box. Beautiful on somebody's, in the, somebody's vintage decor. Now these two things came together. It's a dresser set. Let's see what, it's from Japan. Okay, right there. No chips, no cracks, the flowers on top, intact. And so there's the, the little bit bigger jar, the smaller jar, and it came with the, I don't know, these little dishes. I guess you could put your rings or your chains or something, but see the butterfly detail in gold? This, uh, again, I noticed that when I was cleaning up, there's a chip there on the corner. Um, I think it's a chip. I don't know if it was made that way because the way the gold trim is, like it went around it. So, anyway, I, I, just, I just thought it was lovely. Lovely, lovely. I love the pink and the green and the gold together. Okay, so these glass stirring sticks, sorry, there's six of them. I paid three dollars for them, but look at that. Look at the, the parrots. Again, all that little detail intact still. The different colors. It just sounds nice, the way it sounds together. You know, imagine it stirring your drink. Oh, adorable. Okay. And then this is a Lagerfeld dish. <laughs> um, I paid $1.50 for this. But I have a bigger one. 
And so I don't know if I'll sell them together um, or not, or at least put them on, po uh, post them at the same time. It, this is a pretty classic design for theirs. They call this like the basket weave detailing on there. All right. And then this again, I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it's a Lefton made in Japan. You can see the colors washed off the label, but the label's still there. And looky, look at that. All the little flowers intact. Gold, the gold hasn't rubbed off. And this detail, the pink and the gold, just, it washed up really nice, didn't it? That would look so nice in somebody's china cabinet. Okay, now this, I love the salt and pepper shakers and they come in so many interesting shapes. This is glass. Now the thing about it is, uh, there's the label. I, you can't really see what it is, but it's all glass. Even the the screw tops here, a lot of times on salt and peppers, this part will be plastic. This part is glass. It's all, oh shoot. Oh my goodness, I hope I didn't break anything. Oh, here's the brand. Handpick Crystal. Germany. Anyway, very cool, very geometric. And I really, I got them because I paid $2. Okay, it doesn't look like anything broke. Because even this part was glass, which I thought, okay. So that's that's a nice, a nice quality decorative salt and pepper shaker set. Oh. Okay, this one, I don't know anything about too, or I don't know very much about toy cars and stuff like this, but I love a Mustang. And look at it. I mean, it's in the, it's in its box. It's a 68 Ford Mustang GT. Excellent condition with the box. I paid $5.25 for this. I think some collector will really like it. There we go. So, I got that. And another mug, because... <laughs> I don't know why I'm so attracted to them, but look at that. Is that eye-catching? Is that something that's gonna grab your interest? What does that say? Samuel Bach? Made in Japan, holds about 12 ounces, the back is the solid kind of brownish color. But that would look cool. I, I would set that on my desk or my shelf above my desk just for decoration myself. Okay, this, another glass piece. It's got some weight to it and it is signed and this is made in Sweden. I can't read what that signature says right now, but it's clear glass bird and then his little heart I paid five dollars for this look at that from this side see it just a nice nice paperweight okay and then we got these two candle holders this is bisque and I paid dollar fifty a piece so three dollars for the pair There you go, Lefton, not a chip or a crack. There is a little bit of paint loss, but I just thought how nice for the spring. Here's the other one. Look at that, lavender and green, how pretty, how pretty. Yep, so let's hold it this way. Left in China. Made in Japan. Okay. 
Now these these Francomas I got at an estate sale. Again, excellent condition. I paid five dollars for this this piece, and then five dollars for the pair of the cream and sugar. And it's the the red clay, not the Francoma. The older ones have a lighter color clay, uh, kind of a creamish color. So these are the oldest of the Francoma, but. I still think it, it's they're very attractive. All right, next, why don't we get this big? I got this big brass pitcher. I paid $8 for it. I don't know who made it, but again, a classic mid-century look to me. It's very lightweight because it's, you know, it's thin brass. It's got a little bit of patina to it, as brass should. A couple little dents and... Uh, discoloration areas normal for brass it's not brand spanking new and then oh my gosh I'm gonna get this down guys this picture I paid 354 look at the cherries my mother saw that and she's like oh my gosh she said she told me she remembers a day when everyone had pictures in their house for their lemonade. Lemons used to be, they were really cheap. And so it was something that a lot of people could make and have at home to drink is lemonade. And so people uh, always had a pitcher um, to make their lemonade or whatever, their iced tea. And let's see. This is made in China. I got it anyway. I just think this would look, uh, anybody would like to have this, I think. So, then this, now this, it, this bowl is, he's heavy. He's made out of some kind of stone. I don't know who made him, but wow. Look at the muscles on that guy. Facial expression. Look at that. Whoa, how cool. And then... I have this again. I don't know who made it. I paid $6 for it at an estate sale. So it's a little piggy bank, but look at him. <laughs> oh my gosh. The pig's going through the little change purse. I, I think he's I think he's old. The gold's wearing off of him. And to get your money out, you're gonna have to break him because there's no stopper. But anyway, I just thought that was so funny. The piggy bank, the pig going through the change purse. That just really struck me. Okay. All righty. We're, get, we're just about done, everyone. Now look at this. Look at the bird coming down to get the fruit. Stealing the fruit out of the fruit basket. This is Limoges. And I paid $3.60 for this at an estate sale. Very nice. Very nice. Now this one, this is one of my favorites. Classic mid-century, and it's a Van Briggle. I paid $12 for it. Can you see the Van Briggle kind of signature or trademark there? Look at that. Some speckles. That's speckles from the paint. And look at that design. It's got some weight to it. No chips or cracks. All I say is, wow. Wow. You know what, guys? I saw a beautiful Van Briggle lamp at an estate sale. I wish I would have got it. They had it 70% off. It was going to be... It was going to be a little over $100. I think it would have sold for a lot more than that. It had a beautiful shade with it. Next time, I'm not going to be so scared. Okay, this, this is a cat. It's the same cast cat. It's signed. It's got some weight to it. It's got some chips on him. But look at him. I mean, he looks like he's looking right at you. Siamese cat. Very, very realistic looking. And I paid, I believe, $6 for him. All right. Now, these, 
were my disappointment. I thought they were pretty. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I do know. This, these are made in Germany. And look, it looks like it has cement or plaster of Paris or something in there cause, to give them weight. A very, I like the, the cream and the gold. Some detail in her face. But then as I was washing them, I saw she's been decapitated. And they tried to fix her. I don't know what I was thinking when I, sometimes I think at the estate sales, they dim the light so you don't see all these, uh, any imperfections. But we'll see. Uh, I'll give it a try. We'll see if someone likes them enough to, to buy. Okay, that's it. I know all of these videos that I'm making are, are long. I, and I'm gonna work on that. Um, I, hold on. And I'm going to work on learning how to edit videos too. But this is, this is a recent haul. Well, several different hauls. But so I always want to see if I can share something that I've learned with you. So I was just looking to see what sells the most on YouTube or the best, I guess. And then Facebook Marketplace, because those are the two things I probably sell a lot at. I also sell on um, Macari and <clears throat> another one. I, it, it's going out of my head right now. But the eBay, from what I found, is mobile phone and accessories are the best sellers. Well, I, I have sold a couple of pieces of that, but it's not really something I know enough about, I feel like, to really sell. But number four for eBay is home and garden products. So I'm thinking, well, that's what this stuff is, right? It's home products. Um, on Facebook Marketplace, the number one bestseller, children's clothes and toys and furniture. Kids stuff. All right, and then, and then the other thing that really sells, and I think all of you guys know this, that sell on Facebook Marketplace, it's the stuff that's not worth shipping. The stuff that's too big. Um, I'm, and that's what I've sold on Facebook Marketplace. I just sold um, a big, uh, an oak square table and two chairs. And I just sold a bar stool with flames on the top of it. Um, and I haven't had any trouble selling on Facebook Marketplace so far. Well, anyway, thank you so much for your patience and for watching and liking and subscribing um, and I hope you'll come back keep giving me a chance and any suggestions that you have please share them with me um, but for now I'm gonna go until later